What's up guys, it's Lauren and I'm doing slash attempting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm just like a little nervous. My pits are sweating a lot. I feel just like, like I'm not, I don't think I'm built for this. I'm really nervous. Tell me about how you guys got into jujitsu as a whole. Like, when did it start? How did you guys meet? Like, give me the backstory. Yeah. Um, I, I've been around it for many years, and that's uh, because I've, I've been working with. Uh, Professor Rafael Lovato Jr. And that's where I, I've met Troy, who is now a coach of mine and a student under Rafael. And uh, so, you know, coach, he's my, he's my coach. He's the one who teaches us all the time. Love it. And uh, everything you see us doing in here comes from him and Rafael. That's why I brought Troy along today to teach you some stuff. So you're, you you're my partner. I'm your partner. Teacher. Okay, yes. so when did you get started? I got started in jujitsu whenever I got tired of wrestling. It never seemed like a legitimate ending to a match. So it's like, I pin the guy on the ground and then what? Yeah, you know? right. And then I found jujitsu and it's like, oh, you strangle them or you break one of their joints. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this makes scary. sense. In a physical altercation, there has to be like a definite end. Yeah, you know? right. In the street, it's like the death. So there should be some like way to finish the fight, right? Yeah. And it's. The most effective martial art, uh, especially for a smaller person to fight a larger person, because we're using angles and leverage instead of like strength or speed. I feel like fighting, like from someone who doesn't really know anything about it, right? Like just an outsider's perspective, it's like rageful. Like you think of like people coming in and they're like, I just want to beat the shit out of this guy, right? Is What's the balance between like controlling the rage of like wanting to take down someone and like keeping the peace? You know what I mean? Because you guys seem like peaceful dudes. Like they don't seem like, you know, just like, it's like a smash. You have to have a little bit of both and it has to be balanced. Like without your opponent, there is no fight. So you should value and respect your opponent as one of your greatest teachers, you know? Um, there's, no, there's no one that's gonna give you more lessons like in life and otherwise than the guy that can beat your ass, you know, when everything is on the line. So you value that guy, win or lose, uh, as one of your greatest teachers. So it's like, of course, you should always go in there, shake his hand, uh, show him respect. And then once it's time, once the ref says go, it's on. That guy is your enemy now. And yeah. you're going to try to kill him. Similar Literally. Style. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you show that love at the beginning, and you show that love at the end, but whenever it's those five to ten minutes of fighting, it's all out. Yeah. Everything, you know, so that's where the, the fire, you know, and that intensity comes in, and you put all of your passion and all of your life's work into those minutes of time to show everything that you've been working on with your professors and your teammates to, to have this great showing. And then at the end, win, lose, or draw, you show them love again because it's like, thank you for working so hard to be this worthy opponent, you know? The samurais talk about uh, the only worthy death or the only, like, glorious death is a death in battle. So that's what every modern-day samurai should, be, should pray for in an opponent. It's like, I want the man that can, that can give me that worthy death. I want to know, like, how do you start to even like approach? Like, for someone who's never even attempted this, like, what am I doing first? You guys go. Start my lesson. So, one of the first things that we have to do to do jujitsu is close distance. Once we've closed distance, we want to get our partner from the standing position to the ground. Say you're in the headlock, you're you're losing air, you know, something that is going wrong. How do you zone in and control your breathing and like how do you focus enough when you literally feel like you're dying to get out of that situation? Anytime that you're in a high pressure situation, everything elevates, you know. But at the same time, if you've been in those high pressure situations enough, 
everything slows down. And that's one of the carryovers from sport and martial art, uh, martial arts to real life. It's like, it turns the volume down in a high pressure situation. If someone is like upset with me while I'm driving and I've trained hard in jujitsu and like experienced a high pressure situation from my professor Raphael, who has probably smashed the shit out of me that day yeah. and strangled me a few times. And it's like, I don't really give a yeah. yeah. Am I We're going this way. Okay, and then I just flip you? Uh-huh. Wait. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's scary. Okay, okay, okay. I see you two in a bar, right? Mm -hmm. And some dude's in there just talking smack. Like, is there a level of confidence that you guys have of like, I could literally drop you in two seconds? Like, do you feel that? Well, I think that that's the beautiful thing that martial arts gives is like, as a younger, more insecure man, I probably would have felt the need to like, assert myself in that way. I'm like, oh, right. I gotta fight this guy because he said something to me. Yeah. Or now it's like, no, this guy's probably had a bad day. Everyone's in a high pressure situation due to all the things going on right yeah. now. So it's like, maybe I can cut him a little slack and try to um, regress the situation. Like, okay, sorry man, got, right. sorry I got in your way. It's all good, you yeah. know, let me buy you a drink, you know? <laughs> Do you guys feel like body-wise it's an inclusive sport? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's it's a great tool to give people um, as like a motivation for self-betterment. You know? Right. Whether that's physical, it's kind of what we're on now, or mental, even spiritual, you know. You have this outlet for your energy now that's productive and you can see yourself progressively improving at something every day. That does so much for us as human beings, you know. We always want to improve at something whether we realize it or not. Yeah. There's like that need for that inside yeah, of you. hundred percent, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like what we all want. And I'm sure you experienced that whenever you were playing softball, you know, yeah. it's like, uh, I can make this micro adjustment to my swing and then it becomes so much more efficient. Absolutely. You know? Or yeah. my pitch or whatever, you know. It's like I can find all these things that are gonna give me positive variables that are just constantly adding up mm -hmm. until I'm experiencing success. I think it's cool because jujitsu, um, you know, UFC, you're seeing more women fighters and you're yeah. seeing more women artists like jumping in. And um, has this always been a male dominant industry and you're seeing women starting to like come around or like how, how has that, you know, process been for jujitsu? On the head, okay. for sure. It's always been a, at least mostly a male dominated sport. And now um, it's cool that we're talking about this now because Friday, uh, Fight to Win, shout out Fight to Win, Seth Daniels, Missy Estrada. Uh, put on the first completely female uh, professional jiu-jitsu event. So, yeah. I'm fired Let's up. go, big dog. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That fires me up. That's right. so cool. All female competitors, mm -hmm. uh, all female refs, and all female commentators. So the whole show is like this big celebration of women's empowerment through jiu-jitsu, you know? And like I was saying earlier, there's nothing more empowering for uh, for women or people in general than jujitsu because it gives you the tools, the angles, the leverage, the skills to defend yourself against anybody. Right. You know, whether they're bigger, stronger, faster, it doesn't matter. You know, so that's especially advantageous to you know a lot of the time women are smaller than men. Mm -hmm. So it's the most efficient martial arts system for women to defend themselves against yeah. men. Yeah. You know? All right, we just had such a good time. We got Luke here, Troy. Thank you guys so much for grappling with me and teaching me the basics of jujitsu. If you guys want to face your fears and try it, these are your guys. Tune in with me next time on my next adventure.
Oh. Well, this for now. Oh, this might be kind of tight. <laughs> yeah, my ass you, guys are, you guys are. You guys are.